Today we're kicking off our new series. It's called Knock Knock Surprise. We're going to show up unannounced at the front door of someone very deserving. Okay, we love this so much. And it just so happens that today is also National Good Neighbor Day. So Donna's in upstate New York. She is about to surprise a beloved neighbor. Hey, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi, this is so exciting, ladies. I'm here with Amy Mooney, who nominated Ernie for National Good Neighbor Day. We are walking up to his door right now. I'm going to leave you right there, Amy, okay? And I'm going up. I am. Um, we were hiding in the bushes for quite some time, a little bit nervous of what was going to happen and how he's going to react. Amy said that he's going to be in shock. So I'm going to knock on the door right now and hopefully... Ernie will come out and be surprised. We can't wait. There's a crowd of over 30 here with us. This neighborhood loves him so much. And I don't know how he's going to react, but I'm hoping he's going to be happy. So let's see what Ernie has to say. We're not going surprise. Hi, Ernie. Surprise. Ernie, come on out here. I'm Donna. I'm Donna from the Today Show. And you were live before. Come on over here with me, Ernie. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. You are so beloved, as you can feel and see. And I don't know if you know this, Ernie, but we can go right here. It is National Good Neighbor Day today. And we wanted to honor you because you are a pillar of this community. And you are just about the best neighbor that anyone could ask for. What's going through your mind right now? Well, total confusion. <laughs> but let me play in a little bit more. Amy right here, Amy right here nominated you. You are on live television on the Today Show right now. You can wave hi to Hoda and Jenna and, uh, and millions of Americans if you want. We're all here to honor you. Well, thank you very much. And um, if I had any influence in anything, I'd ask them if they'd please throw some fastballs to Aaron Judge. <laughs> They walked him four times last night. And I'm here. But anyway, I think... well, Ernie, we know that Hoda and Jenna want to say something too, so we just are going to give you uh, these air buds so you can listen okay. to what's going on. Um, we know that you are so beloved and like a father figure to so many here. And I actually wanted to show you a little video on why Amy nominated you. Let's take a look. Ernie is a local legend in Rensselaer. He is not only a phenomenal neighbor, but a true hero in our community. He was a teacher for over 30 years, and he was also an active volunteer firefighter. He was our fire chief. My kids would play wiffle ball in his backyard. Ernie's like a dad to a lot of us, and he would do anything for any of us. Ernie and his wife, Jan, moved into the neighborhood. That was almost 20 years ago. And unfortunately, Jan was stricken with ovarian cancer and it took her way sooner than any of us thought. And Ernie was crushed. He's not having the retirement he planned on with Jan, but he still celebrates life every day. He's infamous for his mustache. His grandchildren can celebrate his mustache. They play in the snow and they make his face on trees. We are Boston fans. Ernie is a Yankee fan, so there's a, a healthy rivalry going on. Ernie's sense of humor can be summed up in a card that our daughter received at Johns Hopkins Hospital. He sent her a beautiful get well card and signed it Derek Jeter. Ernie is a person who has gone above and beyond, and now it's time for us to honor him. He's gonna be so pissed at me. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? How do you feel right now? <laughs> I'm overwhelmed, honestly. I know. I, <laughs> totally, I don't know what to say. I don't know. I have uh, my response was, who the hell's at my door this time? <laughs> <laughs> it was us. There are a lot of, 
a lot of um, iterations of the mustache everywhere. And I know um, your late wife, Jen, would be so proud of all that Thank you've you done so today Thank and you. all the love you're receiving today. Thank you so much. Have you always loved the Rensselaer this yes, much? Yes, I have. Yeah. Yes. My father um, was um, born in Rensselaer and before it was Rensselaer, actually. Oh. And um, no, I've lived through all my life, and it's a wonderful city. The well, people are just great. I taught 33 years in the schools and um, was in the fire department now pushing 60 years. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's just a wonderful town. Well, thank you for all that you do. You're such a great representation of well, not thank only you this so town, much. but a good neighbor. <laughs> and, you know, I wanted you to put the earbuds in one more time okay. because I heard, Ernie, that you were a big Yankees fan. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. So, um, well, in honor of that, I think there's a member of the team that wanted to say hello to you, if that's okay. Let's take a listen. Hey, Ernie, it's Nasty Nestor here with the New York Yankees. I just want to congratulate you on being a good neighbor. We've heard all about you and what you've, do and what you've done with, with the community. Um, by the way, we have a special gift coming for you, so stay tuned and go Yankees. Well, I know that you just saw Nestor That's Cortez just... Jr. through the screen, but you know what? Um, can we just grab some Yankees swag? Okay, uh -huh. this is for you. I think you're going to need it because, Ernie, we are getting you four tickets to Yankee Stadium so you can go and see Nasty And you have a lot of people to choose from to take with you. How do you feel? I'm, I'm honest to God, I'm overwhelmed. I, I mean, I totally didn't see any of this coming. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, thank you so much for being a great neighbor. Well, I've As had great neighbors around me. It's been pretty easy. To, all the people around me, they're wonderful people. As we send it back to yep. Hoda and Jenna, um, is there one piece of, of advice you would give people to become a better neighbor? If you just look out for each other, if you look and see if somebody's up against it, try to help them a little bit. You can do it quietly. You don't have to make a big fuss. And if just people were nicer to each other all over, Thank it's easy you, to do. Thank Ernie. It's easy to do with you. Thank you. so beautiful. Aaron, Thank you, Donna. Aaron Judge has been waiting for Ernie to show yeah. up at Yankee Stadium. Now he's going to hit a home he's run. He's going to break the record. He sure Be is. Beautiful. What a great neighborhood.